What's going on Valley Trucks? Luis here and Josh on the right side. Um, so today we are going to be working on the Jeep Wrangler. It's a 2020 and we're going to be installing a wheel light um, behind the rim. So let's go ahead and take the camera to Josh over here and he'll explain what we're going to do. Yeah, so uh, like Luis already explained, we are going to be installing this wheel light. Uh, it is connected to the third brake light so whenever you hold on the brake or anything it just light up it looks really nice i've seen uh, a lot of jeeps already have it so we're gonna be adding it to this one now uh this one we did get it with our uh friends at jar leds uh we'll leave his information right here down below somewhere uh this one already comes with the light itself and some connectors we're going to be using to uh just splice it into the uh, harness that it has for the third brake light now what we are going to be needing to take up the light or to be able to connect to the wires first is take up the wheels so make sure you have a crossbar or something uh make sure you have your wheel uh lock key we are also going to be needing some clamps to be uh connecting the connectors into the wires itself now some of the jeeps do have them not all of them this one does end up having the rear uh, camera so we are going to have to be taking that off just to make sure we have uh access to move around the wheel so just make sure you have uh, a star set of the screwdrivers uh, you are going to be needing a drill also just in case it's not really uh, necessary but we have a tool set here in case anything else needs to be removed uh, we'll just go ahead and explain that along the way so uh, let's get in into it and take off the wheel so once we have these wheels already we just put them aside uh, now this is what i was talking about uh, this one does have a star lock here right now we do have a lock mode so it can pop out we're just gonna quickly unlock it. That's it. Very simple. Pull the plastic out. And there you could manage to get the last lug uh, that's down here. We just get the right one. And be careful when doing this, guys. Uh, you don't want the wheel to fall off, so just have someone like I have right now, Luis, holding it. Uh, we're gonna take it off and we're gonna show you right now what we're gonna be working with uh, here on the plastic. Okay guys, so we did a little bit more than we were expecting. Uh, so what we did is we went ahead and took out the uh, two screws here and the other two here to lift this up a bit. Uh, we did take out the plastic trim that is connected. Uh, as you go here, this goes right here. We just took it off, flipped it so we could get it out the way. Now, another thing we ended up doing, uh, there is bolts here. These are showing to be, let me verify. They're 13 millimeters. Uh, we just loosened them out. We didn't want to take them off all of them. 
Uh, this thing is still connected, just loose enough so we could manage to get the wires uh, here to the back. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is just basically run the wires for the third brake light uh, going through the OEM harness or where the wires are going uh, just so there won't be any issues, uh, we won't be uh, messing with any wires or having any of them uh, getting pinched. So uh, I couldn't find anything to get the wires from so what I just went ahead and got a zip tie put the zip tie through here, I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it right here just through the tube in the back, uh, there is some gaps that you could go through and we popped it through the back so uh, come on here here's the zip tie as you can see what we're going to be doing is getting the wires that we're going to be running taping them with electrical tape or whatever tape you do have that's strong enough just pull it out get them through here and we'll show you right now how we're going to be connecting it to the actual harness itself so let's do this real quick Okay guys, uh, so what we went ahead and did already is we put electrical tape on all the wires, ran it through where the actual hardness itself is going for the third brake light here, where we're going to do the splicing uh, or connecting them together. Now what we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to prepare the ends of the third brake light uh, that goes on the wheel. So for that, what we're first going to have to do, let's get this real quick, we're going to get this one. Uh, this one you are gonna clamp it to the actual wires itself. It's kind of self-explanatory Just light the wire in where it's long enough that it makes the connection I'm not sure if you're able to see that here. That's the wire Now what I am gonna do is I am gonna expose the wire a little bit more just to make sure I have a strong connection and Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and find something to cut it with, uh, but from there, we're just gonna get one of these tools. Fairly easy, uh, you just put it in here. With this on it, of course, press it, clamp, it's already stuck together, it will pop off. So, uh, let me go ahead and expose these wires a little bit more to make the proper connection, and from there, we'll show what's the next step. Okay guys, so once we already clamped it together, uh, as you can see, they're not coming off. Uh, the next step is these. Uh, these are fairly easy. You just gotta pinch them with the wires itself here. So uh, as you can see, this one does not have a red and black. It just has a white and black, which is self-explanatory. The black was still with black. And in this case, the whites will be connected to the red one. Uh, so we're gonna be doing, let's go and expose this real quick. So this one, uh, all you have to do is, you can see that there's a little indents or groove there. That's where you're gonna be putting the wire itself. So I'm just gonna place it as such. It's gonna do so here. And you're gonna pinch it together until it locks, which I'm gonna have to do a little bit better. But let me go ahead and do it real quick. 